Welcome back to the program. We are now joined by Steve Curliff of Help of Buford. Steve, thanks for coming back on the show. Thank you for having me. Always. So, Steve, for those who don't know, help me understand what Help of Buford does. Well, Help of Buford is uh, a 501c3 nonprofit. So we uh, are able to give tax receipts for anything that is donated, first of all. But we've been in business since 1979. We bring in donations of clothes, food, money, furniture, uh, household items, and we give everything away. Uh, everybody that works there works for free. We're located at 1910 Baggett Street, which is a block and a half behind Maryland Fried Chicken. And um, we've been there uh, since 2000. Uh, we, we also have a mobile meals program that delivers hot meals to people that can't get out of their house. Uh, they deliver about 70 meals every day, five days a week. Steve, it's getting cold out there. We're in the holiday season. What are your biggest needs right now in terms of collection? Well, I tell you, we purchase a lot of our food. Um, we have a lot of donations of canned foods and things like this, which is great. Uh, some of our biggest things that go out that we have to purchase is peanut butter, uh, jelly, flour, um, cooking oil, sugar, things like this. Uh, so those are our biggest needs, um, and of course money. Um, every nonprofit is always in the need for, for more financial resources. And we give, uh, Help of Buford gives away about $10,000 a month to people in need uh, of their helping with their utilities or their rent, things like that. So we, uh, we do have a big need. Meat is a big problem for us. We uh, have to try to purchase a lot of meat, but that's such a huge expense. But we do want to thank everyone that does donate to help. We want to thank also the United Way, uh, Venco ATM Services, Buford Fund, Walmart, Food Lion, and then several other businesses that give us a lot of, a lot of their uh, assistance with either monetary or food donations. Um, the commissary on Paris Island also gives us a lot of food. Steve, talk to me about your mobile meals program, how many volunteers you're coordinating, and if you have anything going on for Thanksgiving. Well, um, mobile meals has about 40 volunteers that work there. Uh, each volunteer takes one day, and their routes last about an hour during lunch. So it's not a big time constraint for anybody. Um, and they get to meet a lot of these people that there, a lot of times those volunteers are the only people they see every day. So it's, uh, it's an important thing for these people to not only get a healthy meal that the hospital, uh, Buford Memorial, uh, sells to us, or, um, you know, but also that these people get the interaction with somebody each and every day, and that's an important thing. There's no substitute uh, for that, Steve. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we have 10 seconds. I want you to plug your fundraiser. In one sentence, hit me with your fundraiser information. All right. We're having a fundraiser coming up on March 7th, and uh, we're looking forward to having a great time at the shed in Port Royal. Tickets are on sale. You go to uh, helpabuford.org, or you can call me at 252-2710, and I'll make sure you get tickets for it. And, of course, you are a handsome man. Steve Curlis, a pleasure having you on, sir. And good luck uh, with everything, and thanks again for what you do. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you.